This week's epic teaching is over patience. Patience can be so hard, especially waiting for God to fulfill a promise. Today's story is just that. Abraham and Sarah waiting 25 years for God to bless them with a child. But God always fulfills His promises, and this story is no different. Check it out now. This is the Bible. The Bible is filled with promises from God. Today we learn about Abraham and Sarah and the fulfillment of God's promises in their lives. We find this story in Genesis, the first book of the Bible. This story begins with Abram, soon to be Abraham. God told Abram to look over the land of Canaan. God said that the land would be blessed and that Abram would have many children. Many years passed, Abram and his wife Sarah were very old and they still had no children. God appeared to Abram and made a covenant or a promise with Abram saying, do not be afraid, a son is coming. Look at the heavens and count the stars. Someday you will have as many children as there are stars in the sky. God told Abram, his name shall be Abraham, which means father of many nations. God also told Sarai, her name shall be Sarah, and that she will become pregnant and have a son. Years later, Abraham was sitting at the entrance of his tent in the heat of the day. When three men appeared, one of them was the Lord. Abraham hurried to them to give them shade and rest. When one of them asked, where is Sarah? Abraham replied, there in the tent. I will surely return to you about this time next year, and Sarah, your wife, will have a son. Sarah, sitting at the edge of the tent, began to laugh silently to herself and thought, I am very old and worn out. I will now have this pleasure. When the Lord said to Abraham, why did Sarah laugh and say, will I really have a child now that I am old? Is anything too hard for the Lord? I will return to you at the appointed time next year and Sarah will have a son. Sarah was afraid, so she lied and said, I did not laugh. But he said, yes, you did laugh. A year later, Sarah did have a son named Isaac. God's promises came true for Sarah and Abraham. Abraham became the father of many nations until he had more descendants than stars in the sky, just as the Lord had promised. Let's do a little experiment to help us understand patience. I have six glasses. We will fill the first, third, and sixth glasses with water. Next, we will add five drops of red dye to the last glass, one drop of yellow to the third glass, and three drops of blue dye to the glass on the end. While that distributes, we will fold a paper towel tightly, then folding the folds in half to make this easy for the fun part of our experiment. Add the paper towel to the glass, making sure the end is in the empty glass and the water. And watch the colors crawl. If you do this experiment at home, it won't be nearly as quick. It will take time and we will have to use the patience God has already blessed us with. If you do try it at home, be sure to tell us how long it took for the colors to crawl, making a rainbow.